In today's video, let's look at the West Portland, Oregon housing market. Uh, I updated this about a week ago and there's a few changes that I wanted to point out as well as some of the uh, news in the real estate world uh, and I'll go over some tweets. There's quick tips about like five tips on when buying a brand new home. I made a YouTube, YouTube video about this, but I think it's pretty um, good information for you to know. We'll touch on the interest rate a little bit and see where the uh, housing market, especially the West Portland market is headed toward. So let's look at the, uh, I call it the Sean the Realtor Guy West Portland Housing Market Index. And um, like I mentioned, like a median list price, median rent, sale price per square foot, changes are pretty small. But one thing that I noticed significant is the median days on the market. That I've noticed that in Beaverton, I believe it was close to about 15 days to 20 days increase. And the rest of the cities, Beaverton, Tiger, Tillsboro, uh, Lake Oswego, West St. Walton, West, uh, Southwest Portland, it, they all had about a week to about two weeks days on the market. So what that means is that houses are sitting on the market a little bit longer. Uh, the buyer's activity has been a little bit slower, mainly because of the interest rate, but interest rate went down. Let's look at the interest rate quick before, and we'll come back to this chart and I'll show you a few, few more things. But the interest rate, this is one of the lowest that I've seen in the last about three or four months. So this is on point credit union um, website, the 30 year fixed rate is 6.5%. And when you talk to other lenders, the other lenders rate could be higher and that there's other fees and things like that. But one thing I noticed that is that if you're working for legacy hospital, uh, you get the loan fee waived at on point. I'm not advertising them, but my last buyer saved about $800 for the loan fee, which is not a small amount. So if you work in one of those OHSU, Legacy, and some other employers benefit, you could actually save some money. I wanted to point that out. Uh, and because of that, last week, Lockbox Access jumped about 38%. So my guess is that the following week, in about 10 days or so, the, the DOM days on the market will be reduced a bit because of the low interest rate typically brings out more buyers and you can kind of see that from the last week lockbox access and oh going back to the um, the West Portland housing market index um, kind of touch on the overall thing here so median list price Lake Oswego is still the most expensive in the Metro Beaverton and Hillsborough are most affordable. Median rent, uh, the yellow chart here, Tualatin, again, it's a, you know, smaller rental market, but Beaverton, Tigard, Hillsborough, Beaverton and Hillsborough seems to be the most affordable to rent. And if you look at the, uh, the sale price per square foot difference, this is very similar to last week, which I pointed out the Lake Oswego uh, is going down a bit and Westland is going up a bit. You can kind of see there. And then Tualatin, almost the same. Southwest Portland dropped significantly. I'm uh, not saying, sorry, sorry, that was my logo there. <laughs> it was covering. Not that much change there. Yeah, I mean, all the other markets pretty similar except for Northwest Portland, 97229. It has increased a bit. Now, the other chart is um, uh, median days on the market. So this is overall across the board increased about a week to two weeks. Beaverton is slightly over 20 days, I believe. Now, this one is... Um, it can give you two different messages. One is for the renters and the other one is for the investors or home buyer whose investor mindset, like future looking ahead. So this is the first month compared to when you rent or buy. I'm comparing the, the immediate rent price and the first month mortgage. The saving 
is when the saving is low, like you know Beaverton and Hillsborough, that means it's better to buy. That market is better to buy. Like Wasuego, the difference is really big. So this is where it's better to rent because the home price is really high. But if you're investor uh, looking for deals, probably Beaverton, Tiger, and Hillsboro is going to be a better one because price is lower, yet rent price is really high. So that's what it means. And at the same time, if you're a first time buyer who's thinking about house hacking in the future, maybe your first home into your first investment property, Beaverton, Tiger, then Hillsboro seems to be a better choice than the other cities on the west side of the Portland. Let's look at the, when you're buying a brand new home. This is going to play some music, I think. So I made this YouTube video, as I mentioned. These are some of the things that I would ask. Uh, you know questions if I'm a buyer or representing buyer buying a brand new home for example like a Reeds Crossing which is South Hillsboro now this could be a long talk here but I'll try to be as concise as possible so busy road when you look at the development map they're building about 500 homes you want to look at how roads are going to be developing what I mean by this, certain roads are going to connect certain neighborhoods and those are through traffic roads that are going to be pretty busy. And if you see like four lanes, if you see solid double yellow lines in the middle, there's a high chance that those roads are going to be busy roads. And as you know, busy roads, home prices get deducted depreciate more or not depreciate more it doesn't appreciate as much so make sure that you don't want to pay the top dollars when you're buying homes next to those busy road uh, typically people want the quieter road but if you end up liking a plan or uh, features on a busy road just make sure that you pay lower than what they recommend and that's where having your buyer's agent representation even when you're buying a brand new home, it's going to be really beneficial because those salespeople at Model House, they represent the sellers typically. Now, the second one is a sun direction and layout combination. As you know, during the winter time in Oregon, it gets really cold, dark, and ugly. So make sure that you get some interior sun sunlight that you can get. So it's a directional, whether there's a tall building on the south side of the house, that, those are going to be important. Certain layouts are going to give you better feel inside with the light and openness and everything. So watch out for that. And brand new homes, they offer rate buy down more than the resale homes typically because builders can buy rate down on that lot. So you can make some big savings if you leverage that. And the fourth one, uh, three-year positive equity building. So what I mean by that is when you buy a brand new home, typically the first two to three years, you're going to have a depreciation because you just kind of like driving a brand new car. You drive off the lot, the car value just tanks, right? House isn't that tanking that much, but it's going to have a little bit of dip. But typically after two to three years, you should gain back and start making equity. And, and if you overpay, that gap could be bigger. It could be five year, but you have to kind of look at the resale value in three years. If something happens with your, your job, you have to move out. Would you be able to recoup that initial brand new home purchase price? So that's important one. The last one is a buyer agent for negotiation protection and the resale value analysis. And these are some of the things that are more important than several thousand dollars initially you get. I mean, that's important too, but overall, uh, letting you know the location, the neg negative location like the busy road or sloped road or bunch of staircase, uh, high voltage wire in the back. Those things are going to be affecting the resale value. And those are the things the buyer's agents can tell you when you're buying a brand new home. Uh, so that's my shortest answer of this one, one tweet that I made. A uh, few other things I talked about the interest rate. The, the federal government is considering capping the, the rent rate at 5% per year for the, uh, against the landlords who owns more than 50, 50 units. So this, I was just doing a poll, but it's, I don't think it's a good idea, to be honest with you, because 
inflation alone could be more than 5% real inflation rate, you know? And if you cap the landlords, I mean, that could, it doesn't make any sense in the capitalist country. Let's see, what else do we have here? Uh, I try not to say much of the political stuff, but there's some, a lot of things going on. Uh, uh, you know, I, I'm not going to even talk about it. It's it's upsetting. It's almost like watching a Netflix show. One of those like designated survivors or House of Cards. I don't know. Uh, I'll just uh, finish my West Portland market update with this one last tweet. Somebody in UK, Bernie, uh, mentioned this like uh, small homes to subsidize it and build it in a on a big lot so that people can have affordable housing. Now those things wouldn't work in my opinion because the most expensive ones are the lot. And when lots are too expensive, putting a tiny home to make affordable housing doesn't make any sense. I mentioned here, I like the idea as well, but in the real world, oops, but in the real world, uh, oh, I lost it, sorry. But in the real world, uh, it's not feasible because of the high land cost, utility connection cost, city permit regulation cost, and, and things like that. So that's all I have for uh, this week. Oh, if you go to my website, this is the last one. This is like uh, me plugging myself in. Sean-Realty.com, you're going to see the new newest blogs that I talk about. Uh, the rate buy down, whether you should buy down rate or not. There's my favorite uh, beef jerky re beef jerky recipe, uh, which I made like about 10 pounds of beef jerky. It was pretty good. Things to do in Portland in July 2024. There's that one. Mm. The Bethany neighborhood. I made a YouTube video. Um, I'm going to link here if I can about my favorite neighborhood in North Portland, Northwest Portland. <laughs> and uh, it's getting some good feedback. So yeah, that's all I have for now. Um, thanks for watching. If you have any questions about the Portland Oregon market, West Portland, or even in, in entire country, I make a separate video about the uh, national real estate data too. Uh, but if you have any thoughts about it, please leave a comment below any questions i'll uh, be happy to answer those for you uh, if you hit the like button subscribe it would be greatly helpful to my channel thanks for your support and i wish you a, have a great day thanks bye